Hello you lovely lot. Um, thank you for watching my video. A uh, couple of things I wanted to mention before I get into it. Um, I know a lot of us are falling in love with Jasmineite, it's such an amazing product. And I know it's felt a little bit strange that Jasmineite themselves haven't really given us a lot of information. I know I reached out to them to say what kind of my vision, what I wanted to do with it was, and they weren't able to kind of work directly with me. Um, but I have to say, I do get it. Jasmineite themselves are actually a fully fledged um, company that, in the nicest possible way, don't really need us artists. Um, however, the product is so awesome, we kind of want it. So as much as we've been trying different sealers and they've said their sealer works, and it obviously does, they probably haven't applied it in the same manner that we would apply it as artists, art and crafters. Um, so I'm kind of wanting to have a proper look at it from our point of view and compare it to some other bits and bobs on the market. Um, just want to mention I don't, I don't work for anybody, nobody pays me or sponsors me in any way, um, but I wouldn't mind it if they did. Um, <laughs> but they don't at the moment. Um, I did reach out to um, some of the approved suppliers just to kind of get an insight of, of the feedback they were getting from people like me. Um, thank you so much to Polysil. Um, you really, really understood what I was trying to do and I wanted to experiment with the products and see if I can solve this sealant issue that a lot of us are having. So thank you so much for understanding and helping me out there. Um, and yeah, let's, let's get straight into it. So I've been testing on the AC100. Um, I know a lot of people are trying to use it outside to make it waterproof. I would love to be able to do that, but I haven't been testing it to that degree. At the moment, we just want a really good sealer that we can use for coasters, trays, um, anything with a little bit of um, kind of water that's going to be touching them and any potential staining issues we don't want to have. So I did a comparison. So I did the Jasmine Night Acrylic Sealer. I also did um, Vaseline, so petroleum jelly, mineral oil. Uh, I did a Liquitex gloss varnish and beeswax. These are just things that have been mentioned um, elsewhere that people are using, so I thought it'd be good to actually have a comparison. Um, and all of these were applied with a lint-free lint -free cloth. I use like a micro cloth. Um, when I use these, the good thing is I can then just, after I've finished, give it a, a rinse through so nothing dries in it, and then I just put them in the washing machine and they can be reused, rather than a throwaway lint-free. Uh, material. So, I almost wanted to uh, disprove that the Jasmineite sealer worked. I don't really know why, um, and I think it's because their videos weren't really showing us how we use it, and they were showing it like you didn't get streaks, and people were getting streaks, so I kind of wanted to disapprove it, so I've really, really tested uh, the Jasmineite sealer, even more than the others, if I'm honest. Um, but it did, it is the best. I'm sorry. The result is it is by far the best. Okay, so all of them I applied with the cloth. With the acrylic um, sealer by Jasmine Eye and the varnish I used, which is a Liquitex gloss varnish I used, I always dilute my varnish as an artist um, with water. And more than the 10, 20%. Because I tried the acrylic sealer at 20% and I did get, I'll show you, a streak free piece. There's not really any streaks on there. If I look really closely, I can kind of see them. I definitely got streaks using it neat. Um, and at 20% it did work, uh, but because I could on really close inspection see if a little bit of um, kind of streakiness, I thought I'd dilute it as far as I normally I'd as far as I normally dilute my varnish, which is forty percent water. Okay, same thing with varnish. When you apply varnish, you get streaks if it's not diluted. So I thought, well, I'll try it like that. So that's what I've done. In here, I've diluted it the by forty percent water and applied with a cloth. This has been tested. I will do photoshops of exactly uh, how I tested these. 
but this was tested with tea and water on it. I actually left it on the piece with the acrylic sealer um, for a good half an hour and there are no marks, stains or anything on that and as you can see there are definitely no streaks, none whatsoever. Um, so you can see the comparison. This side is Vaseline and this side is mineral oil, okay? As you can see, the water was fine on both of them, but the tea did stain them both. No streaks, however, when you apply these. And on here, we've got the Liquitec Gloss, um, which you'll see doesn't gloss up as much on the Jesmonite, but you can see it, um, which I know not of, that doesn't appeal to some people. And the beeswax, again, no streaks, but it's quite hard to see on the camera, I think. But here, there is a stain. So the beeswax did get a stain from the tea. And the liquid protect gloss actually didn't get a stain from the water or the tea. However, I would say the finish is not as desirable on, on the varnish. All right, I'm going to show you how I applied it. Just so you can see how simple it is. Um, in here... I recommend you guys doing a little airtight container is a Jesmonite sealer, 40% water. I get my micro cloth and I'll put it in there and then I'll squeeze out all the residue so I have a damp cloth. Then this is another one of my coasters and I literally like that. And you, I don't know if you're about to see, you can slightly see it on there, yeah? And I'll do that to both as I'm here, I might as well treat both coasters at the same time, otherwise I'm going to have to come back to it later. And the key is not to let that fully dry. So it doesn't take very long, maybe three to five minutes. And then you visually can't really see the sealer on there. That means you're ready to apply another coat. I applied three coats of this diluted at the 40%. When I did it at only 20%, I only applied two coats. Just so you're aware, the one where I did it at only the 20% water did still work and I tested it with uh, tea and water. And again, it was um, fab for that. I just preferred it diluted even further. The benefits of that is we get more for our money when we buy the sealer, because we're gonna get more, more liquid. Uh, and it really was quite foolproof to, to apply. Um, that's nearly at the stage just while I'm talking to reapply again, which I'll do in a moment. Um, any questions, I'll try and help. But remember, no one's paying me yet, so <laughs> I've only got so much time in the day. Um, I'm also testing at the moment the Flexi Sealer, the Penetrating Sealer and a Stone Sealer. Early results are fantastic. However, I do want it to, to, to let it dry for a full 24 hours until I test it further. And I've used those on both the AC100 and the AC730. Um, really to get an insight as to if we could use them on the product outside. Um, so yeah, and it's an even, even easier way of applying it, which I'm sure some of you might have tried. If you haven't, then you're gonna be super, super impressed with me. Um, but I'm gonna post that probably tomorrow, I'll film that. Um, I'm also gonna put a little thing up now with my social media links as um, I do teacher create pouring classes and I sell products and do custom art pieces and I'm adding Jesmonite classes to my offerings from next month. Um, be lovely to have you follow me. Thank you.